My God, Barry Fenton's a bit keen, isn't he? In the pink colours, Kendall Cavalier. And stay lucky, Mick Fitzgerald. On the right is Don Samurai. This is the first of 24 they take here. Peter Isle and Caliso Bay, a front runner through on the inside. Magnificent looking horse, this Caliso Bay. Bet his boy in yellow is closing in, and uh, you deep behind these. Then we've got Flake Totes in funny jacket, blue and uh, white quarters with a red sash. And they're all over the second. No, Don Samurai doesn't look that keen about it at all. He's being ridden along for all his worth at the back. And he's uh, just losing such a bit, Chris Moore, at work already. There he is, on the extreme right of the picture. That's Don Samurai, that's last. The leader, though, is Caliso Bay. Glitter Isle shows second, but his boy third. And stay lucky, and you deep, and Kendall Cavalier, and Flake Oats, and call it a day. The Whitbread winner, second in the race last year. Dickens have a long way to go. Up the hill for the first time. And they begin the descent. And there's Don Samurai. Doesn't look a happy horse at all, does he? Not at all keen. And you've got three and a bit miles to go, mate. But they head down towards fence number three. Caliso Bay is swinging along nicely. To Glitter Isle up on the outside. Six and the Sun Alliance of his year, Glitter Isle. There he goes, pops over nicely. Ooh, you deep uh, is last of one. And the other pipe runner is last of all. The brace of pipes. Pipes had a double at Warwick, but it's Caliso Bay leading as they level up down the back stretch. Bitter Isle is second and Stay Lucky on the outside is third. So they level up towards the first in the back. Oh, what a magnificent leap by the leader there. Stay Lucky is, uh, is uh, starting to ride that one along. Looks far from keen as they take the next plain one. And Stay Lucky. Oh, what a misery day for Mick Fitzgerald. The horse is uh, trailing already as the leader crosses the next ditch. Kendall Cavalier was untidy there, lost a bit of momentum. And Kendall Cavalier, that's 11 to 2, second favourite. Call it a day at 7 to 2, is uh, sitting midfield as they continue their run for the water jump for the first time, at which it will be Caliso Bay leading. Kicks over, clear by about 4 to 5 to Glitter Isle, bedded boy, Flake Totes. You deep call it a day, Kendall Cavalier. Stay lucky, is staying with them, but only just. That's thanks to some. Encouragement from young Michael there as they cross the next. All over, and Don Samurai is getting about a fence behind now. Caliso Bay just popped over that one okay. To Glitter Isle in second. Yellow Colours bet his boy on the inside. You deep on the outer getting closer now. And then we've got uh, Flake Toast with a bright red cap. The pale white sleeves call it a day. Then one of the greys, Kendall Cavalier. And then we've got Stay Lucky from New Zealand as Caliso Bay leading as they begin the swing out of the back straight they've completed about a mile and a half in the Mile Bay Caslip Memorial and they're coming towards the pond fence a feature here at Sandown is the 11th in this race and it is Jamie Osborne on Caliso Bay 20 winners so far this season the horse trying a trip for the first time Dan Samurai, give him his due, he's uh, plugging round in his own time. Good job Chris Ward hasn't got a ride in the last. It's Caliso Bay leading to Glitter Isle in second, and now Udeep is getting much closer in third. Dave Johnson jacket, that's a horse with a noseband on the right. Udeep, based in two Hennessy's. Just a brush to the top of that. Basin of Whitbread, Scottish and Welsh nationals. And plenty of money in his day, as you did. Come down towards another ditch now. And it's uh, Galiso Bay leading to Flake Totes and Ditter Isle. And then Bet his boy getting close, the yellow colours. Talking about that, there's a gold cup horse you know in his juvenile novice's uh, career, Bet his boy. Then you deep back in five, and then call it a day. Adrian Maguire has been very quiet on that horse. More than could be said for Barry Fenton, keen to lead on Kendall Cavalier. But he's uh, really pushing along now. and. So too, Mick Fitzgerald on Stay Lucky. And then Don Samurai, oh, is a good Coronation Street behind. They swing right-handed then, as they make their way towards the 14th. And uh, away they go. And that's Stay Lucky. And that's the last horse of the main group. Because uh, just looking out for Don Samurai, and it looks as if Chris Maud has given up the unequal challenge. Now the favourite, uh, call it a day, 
on the extreme right. No, Don Samurai is going, keeps going. I wonder how much longer. He's a, a long way remote. Caliso begs it around. Oh, and Flaked Oaks just knows the ground there. But his boy gets a reminder and calls it a day the white sleeves is uh, making a bit of ground. You deep bang there and it's Glitter Isle. It sparkles, goes into the lead as they level up down the back straight. And it's Glitter Isle to you deep. And then Caliso Bay and Flaked Oaks and bet his boy and call it a day. An impressive run of fences on this stretch of the track here. But it's all too much for Kendall Cavalier, who's very remote to stay lucky. And Don Samurai is continuing. Another plain one. And it's Glitter Isle to you deep in second place. And then in third is Caliso Bay. Then Flaked Oats and Betty's Boy and call it a day. This is the last dish they have to jump. And it's a fine leap by Glitter Isle. You deep is pressing on the outside. Then Caliso Bay. Flaked Oats gets reminders, but uh, sticks on for going with Joe Tazard and getting closer now in the red cap. Then we've got Betty's boy as they uh, take the water jump and it's Glitter Isle who leads the favourite. Uh, that's uh, Call It A Day with the white sleeves has suddenly got legs of lead. They go down towards the third from home on the back straight. Six more to jump in the mild May Caslet. Brave horses, brave men as they take that one. And it's Glitter Isle. He's only won three as a young horse but he seems to be enjoying himself does Glitter Isle on the inside. Oh, and Flaked Oats a faller there. And uh, Joe Tizard on the ground. The horse and jockey are OK. But it's Glitter Isle who leads to you deep in second place. Top weight, Tony McCoy giving over a stone. Bet his boys back in third, Caliso Bay. Trying this trip for the first time is plugging on resolutely. Back in a remote fourth, though. But even more remote is Caller today, the Whipbread winner, who was second in this race last year, but very remote to the principal players as they turn for home. And it's Glitter Isle, the inside of you deep. Look at that man, McCoy, really pushing along. And Richard Dunwoody on the yellow jacket did uh, bet his boy is trying to get closer. And can Caliso Bay call on more class? They come down towards the third last. And it's Glitter Isle. Here goes you deep the outside. The horse doesn't win that often. Glitter Isle, his ears fritz and looking enthusiastic. He's running with relish. You deep is flat to the board. Back in third place now is Caliso Bay, the big horse who's plugging on very gamely in this ground. Bet his boy has given up the unequal struggle back in fourth. These four a long way clear. This is two out. This Glitter Isle to you deep. A horse that's often placed and can he be placed again with this Glitter Isle? Philip Hyde's only had nine wins to his name so far this season. Tony McCoy on the second horse has had 95. Caliso Bay is trying to close in third. This is the last. Oh, and he didn't pick up as well as he wanted to, Glitter Isle. This gives you deep more enthusiasm, and he's come through to lead. And it's you deep who knows it into the lead to Glitter Isle. Caliso Bay is back in third place, and as they race up towards the line, perseverance has paid for you deep. And the Dave Johnson jacket has won the Anthony Mahomet Memorial, Peter Caslin Memorial on you deep to Glitter Isle in second. Caliso Bay is third. Quarter today is four. Kendall Cavalier plugged on for five. Bet his boy six. And so the result of this 24 fence marathon here, the Mile May Caslip Memorial. The top weight has won this, you deep, and it's six to one. It's a pipe treble around the country today, but the horse really owes so very, very much to champion jockey Tony McCoy.